working with parallel lines in a transversal, there's lots of angle relationships that we need to know because they show that angles are equal in measure. For example, vertical angles, which we learned a couple of days ago, are angles that are diagonally across from each other when two lines intersect. So for example, right here, this angle and this angle are diagonally across from each other, so they're equal in measure, measure because they're vertical angles. Or, let's see, this one right here and this one, they're across from each other, so they're equal in measure because they're vertical angles. Or, this one and this one, or this one and this one. So each of those pairs of angles are vertical angles and are equal in measure. But today, we learned about two, uh, three more kinds of angle relationships. Corresponding angles are angles that have matching positions. For example, in this group of four angles right here, this angle is in the upper right corner of that group of four. And then down here, this group of four angles, this one's in the upper right corner. So they have matching positions, so they're corresponding angles. Or we could have gone to this angle right here. This one's in the upper left corner of this group of angles. So when we go down here, the upper left corner angle is that one. So these two are corresponding angles. There's two more sets of corresponding angles. This one, the bottom right angle in this group, the bottom right angle of this group. And the bottom left angle of this group and the bottom left angle of that group. Corresponding angles are also equal in measure. The last two angle relationships we learned about today are alternate interior and alternate exterior angles. Alternate interior angles are angles that are inside, hence the name interior, inside of the parallel lines. So here's your parallel lines. There's two angles up here and two angles down there that are inside the lines. Alternate interior angles are on alternating sides of your transversal. So for example, if this one's on the left side of the transversal, its alternate interior angle will be on the right side down here. So these two angles are alternate interior angles and are equal in measure. Similarly, this angle right here and this angle are alternate interior angles because they are on opposite sides of the transversal and are between the lines. Alternate exterior angles are very similar, but they need to be on the outside of the parallel lines. So for example, this guy, this angle right here, he's on the left side of your transversal on the outside of the parallel lines. So its alternate exterior angle is right here, the right side of the transversal on the outside of the parallel lines. And this angle right here, outside of the parallel lines on the right side of the transversal. So the alternate exterior angle is on the outside of the parallel lines on the left side of the, tra the transversal. And again, all of these pairs of angles are equal in measure. And we will need to know this vocabulary because we're going to be using it for the remainder of this unit.